Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at another Takara Tomy Jurassic World figure. Just when you think I'm out of the Jurassic World Takara Tomy figures, we're right back in, because there are actually a few I don't have, one of which was this Stiggy Moloch, which I just recently purchased. There are still a few others, actually, that I don't have, like the Dimorphodon, the Pteranodon, I think there's like a set with a Pteranodon and a baby Velociraptor blue and potentially a newer Pteranodon. And I think that might be all of the actual Jurassic World, more mainline style figures. I know there are a bunch of like random weird versions of Takara Tomy figures, but I'm not all that familiar with the company as a whole and the way they produce figures. I've seen other kind of strange looking ones that I do want to get a hold of at some point, but I haven't actually acquired yet. But as far as like the more mainline versions... I have now the Stiggy Moloch, and again, only a very small amount of others to acquire. Although I do still have to try to get a hold of that Demon Carnotaurus and get the tail for it, because I had no luck. I tried contacting Takara Tomy. They were absolutely impossible. They don't want to help at all. They told me to contact the place that I purchased it from, which that didn't work either. So I guess I'm just stuck with it, because apparently Takara Tomy doesn't care too much for the happiness of their fans. But at least we have this version of a Stiggy Moloch, which actually looks pretty cool. I think it looks like it might be one of the better versions of a Jurassic World Stiggy Moloch that has been released. You can see the artwork is pretty much what you would expect, especially since this is one of the older ones, not one of the Dominion figures. You can see that here on the side, which actually shows all of the Jurassic World figures from Takara Tomy pre-Dominion. Now there are quite a few more after Dominion had launched, but you can also see the back here again sports a nice image of the figure. So once we actually pop this open and knock everything over, we'll pull the Stiggy Moloch out. Normally they're in a little baggie, I think, in here. That's weird that he's not. There's not a whole lot going on inside the box. Oh, there's something over there. Sometimes there's a little bit of like an extra paper or something in here. Yeah, so it tells me absolutely nothing that I can read. But again, the figure itself, oddly enough, wasn't in a baggie this time. But it looks really nice, actually. Like, I'm always super impressed with how good these Takara Tomy figures can be. And specifically, the sculpt is nice on this, but I actually really quite like the paint. Of course, it could be a little better, but... It has a really nice look to it overall as far as the paint job goes. Now let's see if it can stand. I don't normally, yeah, there we go. I don't normally have any problems with Takara Tomy stuff standing. I should move it over a little bit probably. But there is our Stiggy Moloch from Takara Tomy for the Jurassic World line, not Dominion. And it looks pretty nice. Again, I definitely think this might be, I would say, maybe the best version of a Stiggy Moloch actually that I have in my collection when it comes to a Jurassic World style version. When it comes to both the paint job as well as screen accuracy, I think this one's pretty on point overall. So, as always, let's jump to a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Stiggy Moloch, you can see that that head sculpt does have a really nice appearance and again looks extremely screen accurate to me. I'm no professional when it comes to the appearance of the Stiggy Moloch from Fallen Kingdom, but I feel like they definitely captured the overall appearance to it very nicely. As far as the paint apps go, we have some nice colors here on the face. You can see a nice darker brown for the upper side of the head. Super smooth transition to kind of like a yellowish brown, moving down to an even lighter tone for the underside. The beak does have a nice dark tone, like a dark gray. We also have like some random stripes there, kind of, uh, you know, giving it somewhat of a different paint app there for the beak. And then you can also see that as we move back up here to the top of the head, we get the spikes and everything painted out with some grays. And I actually like that we have darker grays here, lighter grays up there. So there's some nice color variation. You can also see the dome here. The dome skull has that kind of lighter gray there in the center with the darker gray that surrounds the outer edge. So it does give it a really nice appearance. You can also see the eye has a nice black and a gorgeous gloss coat on it. That is absolutely shining in the most realistic way possible. So the paintwork is really quite impressive, honestly, especially right here in the head sculpt. Again, I think this might be one of the better painted Takara Tomy figures as a whole. But the texturing of the skin looks nice. You can see the nostrils and everything right there. As you start to move down the neck, you can kind of see like a little bit of tensing or muscle definition in the neck. The throat as well looks pretty good there. You can see the skin texture continues to look nice moving down. We have those absolutely gorgeous variations of browns moving down as we move through the course of the body. You can see the spinal column right there moving down into the arms the arms look pretty good unfortunately we do have pronated wrists but when it's a jurassic world figure i guess it doesn't really much matter the nails are painted with a nice black there on the fingers the fingers themselves 
aren't really all that highly detailed when it comes to the sculpt, but they look okay. We can see that what the detailing here looks like here on the underside also looks pretty nice. Again, that nice light tone of color, and you can see like yellowish browns included in here, and then darker shades of browns as we move up. But we also have these darker tones that kind of stripe down. Again, it's kind of similar to what you would see when it comes to the coloration of a Stiggy Moloch from Jurassic World, but not exact. We have more of those kind of stripes and designs here in the thigh area. You can kind of make out the hip bones slightly right there. But as you move down the thigh, you can see again those areas of coloration picking up. We also again have more of those nice lighter brown tones. But as we move down into the foot sculpt, first of all, we have lots of kind of like scoots moving down the front of the foot down into the toes. But we also have a darker tone, like a very dark gray, moving down into the feet of the Stiggy Moloch. And we also have dark gray or black nails right there. And you can see the Duclaw is present and it is painted. So that's pretty sweet to see. That's not something we often get our painted Duclaws when it comes to Jurassic World figures. But as you move back up, you have another little spot here of that kind of designing with that darker tone. And again, you can see more of the really nice skin texture. And as we lead out into the tail, you can again see in classic Takara Tomy fashion, we have those ball joints that some people like, some people hate. I don't think there's anybody that actually loves them, but they are here on this one, separating the tail slightly, giving us a little bit of extra articulation. And you can see more beautiful paintwork as you move out, more nice sculpt work as well. And then, of course, as far as the articulation goes, you have the legs, which haven't been moved yet, so they're a little stiff. Oh, not, not so much anymore. All I had to do is move them a little bit and they've worn in really nicely and then you have the tail again here where you can kind of articulate it and you can also swivel it if you choose to and that's really about it when it comes to the articulation and since it's in pretty much a totally neutral pose you're not going to see much difference over here compared to what we had just seen on the initial side just kind of give you an idea of what the head sculpt and everything and all the paintwork looks like on this side but it really is quite nice looking honestly I'm always super impressed with the Takara Tomy figures and that honestly might be one of my favorites so far from the Takara Tomy line especially when it comes to again screen accuracy the paint job doesn't match perfectly but I think the sculpt is fantastic as far as a size goes honestly if you are familiar with the Takara Tomy figures it's pretty much exactly where you would expect it to be but for a length, you are looking at about 5 inches almost on the dot or about 12 and a half, approaching 13 centimeters, but not quite there. And then for a height, the highest point is a little under 2 and a half inches or around 6 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack, Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Takara Tomy Stiggy Moloch. And you can see that... Again, it's quite small, as all of the Takara Tomy figures usually are. It, again, is pretty much exactly where you would expect it to be as far as the size of this figure. And then for another size comparison, here is the Takara Tomy Pyroraptor, which actually you would think should be a little bit bigger than the Stiggy Moloch, but you can obviously see that is not the case. It's a bit smaller than our Stiggy Moloch, but for another comparison, there is the Takara Tomy Rexy here next to the Stiggy Moloch. Now you can see the Rexy is a little bit bigger, but you can also obviously tell that actual scale means nothing when it comes to the Takara Tomy line, as the Stiggy Moloch isn't all that far behind when it comes to his size next to the Rex. And if you are not familiar with the Takara Tomy figures, here is a super-sized captive Spinosaurus, the newer Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary Spinosaurus, next to the Stiggy Moloch from Takara Tomy, giving you, again, an idea of the size if you happen to have one of the super-sized captives. And for one final comparison, here is a Mattel Mini Ceratosaurus next to the Stiggy Moloch, again, just to show you that it is really quite small overall. So this Takara Tomy Jurassic World Stiggy Moloch is pretty fun, honestly, and, you know, I'm a pretty big fan of the Takara Tomy figures as a whole. I'm not a big fan of the way they treat their fans when it comes to helping them get a hold of something they were screwed out of, like the tail of my Carnotaurus. I am still a fan of their products, and I think that they do a pretty good job most times, sometimes not so great, other times really good, and this is one of those instances where I would say this is actually a really good figure. The sculpt is definitely quite screen accurate from what I can recall. They did include a lot of really nice really fine detail gorgeous skin texture throughout and pretty much all the detail you would expect to find or want to find on a Jurassic World style Stiggy Moloch. The positioning of the body is pretty much just a neutral pose as you often find when it comes to these figures so there's not a whole lot going on as far as that but the 
paint job is really beautifully done. Again, it doesn't exactly replicate a Jurassic World Stiggy Moloch. I think the tones of color are a little bit off overall, and the design is a little bit off, but what they have given it here is actually really nice. Like, it's pretty much a feast for the eyes, I would say, as far as the tones of color they've used. Like, to me, anyway, I really love the variation of color applied and how smooth it's applied and the tones of color that they've given it. And uh, the figure does have a fully painted appearance, which sometimes Takara Tomy can get a little bit lazy when it comes to their paint apps. And even though I feel like it, of course, could be a little better, what we do have here is definitely quite nice as a whole. The articulation is pretty fun as well. It's not anything amazing because you only have a few different areas, but it's fairly smooth overall. We do have those you know, separated ball joints in the tail, which not everyone's a fan of, and I can understand fully why, but I'm pretty much numb to it at this point. Again, after collecting so many Takara Tomy figures, it kind of becomes part of their charm, sort of just differentiates them from everyone else. But as a whole, it's definitely a nice figure and another one that I do recommend picking up if you are looking for a nice Jurassic World Stiggy Moloch or if you're just collecting the Takara Tomy line. This is definitely one that I highly recommend adding to your collection. So if you are interested, I will add a link in the description to where you can grab one of these for yourself where I purchased mine from AliExpress so make sure you check those links go grab yourself a sticky Moloch and like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching